Hi, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to use Jello in project management. Okay, so here the agenda for today. I will, we will have four steps. So step one, I will guide you how to create a Jello account and we do some the overview for this system. And the second one, I will guide you how to create a project and do planning for this project. Okay. The third one, I will guide you how to do the as a member to project. And the last one, I will guide you to do some configuration and settings for our project. Okay, so now, let us start it. And you open the browser and access to the cello.com website. Okay. By default, the cello is support for multiple languages. You can scroll down and at the bottom of the website, you select the language you want to be displayed. Okay. So now here, there are a lot of the languages. I'm, in this video, I'm going to use the English. Okay. I scroll up. And here you can see some of the information for the cello. It lets you work more collaborative and more get more done. And actually, it's very useful in the project. So if you have the project man management knowledge about the Agile and especially the Kanban dashboard, so it would be the same in Cello here. Okay. So now here, you need to do some sign up for a new account. And otherwise, if you already have a account, you can click on the login button here to do some login to the system. Yeah. So here I don't have. Uh, I don't have the account, so I will click on the sign in, uh, sign up button. <coughs> okay, and after that, the system will direct me to the sign up page. On this sign up page, I have to provide the email address to do some of the sign up. Uh, I have another option is the sign up by using the Google account. You click on the continue with Google. And after that, you have to do some the authentication for the Google to access the cello. I click on this one in my email address. Okay. And in this step, you have to provide some information for the welcome message. Start the naming boss. Okay. I will do some the testing. The testing. Okay. Next, create structure with the list. I will skip it. Next, that that one, that two, that three. Get in detail. That's just for that thing. Okay. So here you already is to get started. You click on the now. You are a Pro, give up you solar pot. Okay. And this is the default that was for the cello. Okay. And here, that means the account has been created. So on the top, we have some menu. Okay. You can click on the this the first icon. It will display some the the system related to the cello. We have the Zira software, cello, Confluent, Zira service dash, blah, blah, here. We have home button. When we click on home button, it will direct me to the home page. Here. So in the home page, I have some menus on the left box. And this box will display all of the project in my account, I have the template. So what I mean template here, by default in the cello we have a lot of templates. So you can click on the templates and and go through the template here for business, design, education, engineer, marketing, blah blah here. So we have a lot of the templates. And if you if you see the template is suitable for the uh, for the purpose, you can use this to create that dashboard. 
For example, here I have a Kanban template. You can click on this one to see the detail. Okay, so here it will open the detail of this Kanban box. You can see some of the information about this template. And you scroll down. This is a sum of the list of the uh, list and card on in, in this template. So if you see this one is, is enough for the purpose using in the project, you can you click on the U template here button to use for creating a new boss for the project. For, for example, now I click on the U template button. Yeah. So now I have to provide the title for this boss. That too, for example, I click on create button here. Yeah. So after that, it will direct you to the tab number two, that box. Yeah. We contain a lot of things here. We have some uh, list of work. Many, many. Yeah. We can also do some modification or add new, add other list to this that box. Okay. It look very really nice. Okay. So here, this is the this is the default that box when you are using the default template of the cello. So here I will back to the home page. Okay. In the home page you can also create a team. What 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 that it means? Okay. So the team here that means you uh you you can invite another people using the cello a, a system to work on. So for example, when you are working in the project that number two, you have to ask some of the people you want to add some tasks and assign to some of the people in the team so so that the team member have to create the cello account and then you 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 and then once the one on one the people in the team have the cello account you have to do the action in invite task member into the project okay okay so we have not finished step one create account and do the overview and for the step number two, I will create a new project and do the planning for you. Okay. And actually, we have done the creating new project from the template. And now I will create a new template uh, with blank project. With blank. Okay. I will click a box. And I will create a new box. I will ask or uh, I will enter the name for this one. So my web, I will website ABC development or something like that. Okay, I will select some background here. Okay, I will select this one. You can also assign some the team member to this project. Or you can have it by default here. So when you do some planning for the project, you can add the people into this project later on. Okay. Here we have the op two options for some authentication. The first one is private, and the second one is public. Yeah. So here, if you select the option is private, the only boss member can see and edit this boss. Otherwise, if you see the publish. That means every every people in the, on the internet can see this one. Okay. I will let it by default here. I will create a boss. So if I click if I click on the create a boss button here, it will create a blank project for me. As a why when you select a start with a template, it will do the same action as I did before. Okay. I will click the create a blank 
that was from for this project okay and here on the right hand you have the menus the first one we do some about some the, add some information about this that box okay and the second one you can do some change the background for this but up right here we have a lot of information so i will close this one okay and here because i have the blank dash box so now i will go ahead to create some the list okay i will create uh, the list for this one for the kanban kanban box okay i will in the kanban box i have a to do I so, no before i have a backlog first backlog okay and then i have to do or we can call it selected task selected for development okay and then it progress so now here it will be the in review and the last one is done okay so here we have a uh, one two three and four four status in this project okay so before so in the planning we create some the cac or we can call it a task in the back backlog and after that when we have a list of the tasks in the backlog we can do some the planning if you want to if you want the team do some the development for any new any task you can drop and drop it from the backlog to the task for selected task selected for development okay so once the task is added into the list of the selected for development and you, you do the assigning the task to the team member okay so when the team member is start working on that task they have to move it to the info rest okay so after the team member finished the work they move it to the in review in, in review meaning the team for example when the developer in the team finished coding for any new and any feature in the project they move it to the in review and and after that they or they change their assignee to the reviewer okay so when the reviewer do some review for 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 for, for, for the tickets if the if the re reviewer thing is okay they can move it to the done otherwise it went back to otherwise the reviewer will ring assign back the task to the the, the, the developer for a rework okay so that is the workflow in this project for example okay i went back to the planning for this project you back to the backlog in the backlog you have to add all of the tasks in this project you want to be developed so here i click on add a card i will enter the task just very basically here task one enter task two task three i will add ten tasks task four five nine ten okay i have ten that here and then i click on this one here it will open the detail of start number one in the overlay pop-up so here i have to do i have to add some information for this task by enter the detail information in the description view here okay okay for example as a user user when log in to the web side i want to do the side up i want to do the side up to access into the system 
okay for example i have a tag here i click on save button okay okay just just a uh, very simple information here i will come back to do some the configuration for this later on in the in the, at the end of this video okay i close this one and we do the same thing for the tab number two three four five six seven eight ten okay as some depth scripts shown here for the working or something like that save it up that number three that number four that number five that number six seven This is just information for demonstration and actually when you are working in the project you have to enter the decoration in more detail for because if the decoration is, is not enough for your development so the developer when, when uh, the developer cannot working on the task yeah okay okay here for example I have not finished the planning for this task okay and now we are going to the third step i will guide how to add the name member to project okay firstly in order to add a new member to the project you, you have to make sure the member already have an account in cello system okay okay after that you click on the personal button here on the menus click on this one or you you can click on the invite button here to to send the invitation directly to the member okay so here i have an account okay with this email i will click on invite button here enter the email address of this member okay and here it will search the you will search the account of this email you click on the name here okay you can send the invitation to multiple people using the cello system okay i click on the send invitation okay so in case if the member don't have the account in the cello system here when you do send the invitation to the email, it will have a link for the people for, for, for that guy to do some direct registration for a cow. And of course they have to do some direct registration for new account before they can accept into this that box. Okay. And here after you select all the all the all of the member in the project, you click on send invite invitation button here. Okay. And then when the invitation is sent, the member have to check the email to active it. Okay, here, you see, you see here, I have a new email. Invite you to join the boss, okay, on Cello. I click on the go to boss. Okay, cool. So here, you can see I'm using another account, and I can see the the, the uh, all of the planning tasks in backlog for this project here. Okay, very good. I will open back the first account. Okay. So here, for example, I have two tasks. Task number one. And task number two will be will be uh, selected for development in the first round. 
And for the task number one, I will assign it to myself. And the task number, number two, I will assign it to the, another account. This, this is my account, and this is the team member account. Okay, I click on this task number one. Okay, and then here, when it opens up in the overlay pop-up, you see we have a, a, on the right hand, I have some other, some other information. I have add to card. We have the option is the member. You click on this one. Okay. And here, it will list out all of the member in the box here. Okay. For example, so that one, I will assign it to myself. Click on this one. Yeah. And after that, I close this one. You see here in the that box have an icon here. It is uh, indicates that the task number one has been assigned to this member. Okay. And you see the task number two, it don't have the icon at the bottom here. That means this task is not assigned to any people. Okay. Click on this one. I will select the member assigned to, to the member number two. Go it, close it. Okay. Very good. I will open the task number one. Again, okay. So here, take a look into the information on the right hand. I have the label. Okay. So here, I can enter the label for this one. By default, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six label with some of the, uh, the, some the, the, the label icon here. You can do some change the, 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 the color color for the label. Okay. For example, I will select the color in green. Okay. Do, do the modification and I enter the name for this label. For example, I will enter the account, for, enter the name for this one. E, uh, that number, that's for release one, to release. Zero one, save it. Okay. I have task for three lead number two. Zero two. Okay. And then I have a checklist. You can do some checklist here. Click on this one. One. For example, I have, when you work on the task number one, we have uh, some checklist, checklist, check, checklist, zero one, check, list zero two, check, three, check. Okay, something like this. What does it mean, the checklist here? So we enter the checklist here to, 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 to let the user know that they have to finish or complete all of checklist here in order to finish the task. Okay. We have a progress bar here, which indicates how many percentages the people, the, the member had been finished for the checklist. For example, if the user is finished the checklist number one, they click on this one. Okay. And after that, the percentage has been increased. Okay. We have option in high completed item. Okay. Otherwise, click on so checked item. Good. Okay. So I do the same thing for the task number two. Click on this one to view detail in overlay pop up. I, I will have uh, the label. Release one. Close this. And I will create some of the checklist. Copy it from task number one. Okay. You can create only another checklist. For example, if the user finishes the checklist number one, click on this one. Checklist number two. Yeah. So the percentage is completed is 40%. Okay. And when doing the Z task, if the team member have okay, oh sorry, sorry. So here I should open another account. 
Okay, I refresh this one. Okay, because this time too, I have a side to the chain account here, so I should work on. I should use this account to do some the uh, updating for this status for the status or any any or any activity in the task. Okay. So here, if I have any the comment to do some gratification for the requirement or something like that, I can do some the write a comment here. Okay. If I, if I want to tag or include some people or, or, or I can do some notification to the right person uh, to re who will be in charge to resolve my question. So I can use a uh, mention is here. For example, this one uh, needs more information for checklist 03 or something like that. Save it up. Okay. And when you do some attack here, the system will send a notification email to this account. Okay, for example, I will open back to the to the to the first account. I open the Gmail. So the email is not notification for me now. I will open the that bot. Yeah. So here, when you open the that box, you see we have a rest icon here. Click on this one. I see a comment. Okay. So here, when you see this comment, if you if you can provide information for this this comment, you click on the reply. Okay. Okay. You can, for example, I add some of the comment here. You you can skip checklist zero three because it's enough urgent for now. We will come back to work on it later at the end of our project. For example, something like this. Okay, good. Okay, so here, you take a look into the right hand, we have a due date. What does it mean due date? Okay, so when you assign any task to the team member, you want you want the team member will be finished the task in some in some range of the in, in the, the I mean the, the the you want the task will be finished in some fixed date, okay. The, and and then you can use the due date to do some action to do that action, okay. You click on the due date button here, and you can select the. Uh, you can select the desk you want to be finished the task. For example, you can select the um, 12, set it up, okay. And then it will display the new desk information here. Okay. And we can, you can do some the attachment, okay. For example, when you assign any task to the team member, if we have some the uh, attack, like a screen, screen source uh, of the issue or of the task or you can also have some file of the bug uh, to reproduce the bug or something like that so you can use the attachment feature here you click on this one and for the attachment we can do the attachment from a lot of the system from, from the computer from Jello, from Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, on Drive, or you can also attack the uh, directly link. 
Okay, so here I will select and upload the file from my computer. <coughs> I will select the file here. For example, I have a list of the bug here. Click on this one. Okay. So when I upload the file to to, to to this task, I can do some comment. Okay. This is a bug. The lead bug from production. Please fix it as soon as possible. Okay. Close this one. Okay. So here, when you close it, you can see the that number two here. We have a lot of information. This is the due date. There are the comment. We have three comment here. One attachment. Okay. And we have five checklists. For now, we have not finished two, uh, two of five checklists in the uh, for this task. Okay. I back to the another account. It has the same information here. Okay. So here, I click on view detail. For example, if the member had been finished on the task here, and then they can do the they can change the 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 the, the, the status for this due Click on this one. That means the the task has been completed. Okay. Complete. And then here. In action, we have the move. You can move this to another column. I mean, another, another list in the project. You select in the list and you change it to the in review because for now you have the finished the coding for this one and now it ready for the reviewer to do some the review before they can move it to the done uh, status. Move it up. Close this. Yeah. It is in review. I back to the main account here. Okay. Very good. Okay. So if the reviewer thinks this one is already finished, they can change it to the done. Okay. Do the same thing with the task number one. Change it in to the input progress. And when, when it finished, you change it in review. And also change it done. Okay. And then you repeat the same what we have done in the previous. You can select the task number three, task number four for another round of the development. Okay. You do it until it finishes on all of the tasks in the backlog. Okay. And by default, this is a, a free account. So if you want to use some of the premium feature of the channel, you have to purchase for the business class. Okay. So here I want to add some of the power up okay so here in the power up we have a lot of feature here okay for example you want to see the agile that boss or the burnout or matrix for cello read me blah blah here we have a lot of things i click on this one add It is enabled for now. 
you see here the notification information it says this bot has reached its power up limit upgrade to business class to enable additional power up that means at the same time you you you, you cannot enable uh, multiple multiple feature of the zira it is only support for one feature okay that means if you don't if you want to use another feature or uh, you have to disable burn down the list feature here otherwise you cannot uh, enable it okay so here you can click on business class to enable yeah you have to upgrade the team yeah this is a price around 10 usd per month per user per month okay okay so i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to do the uh the, the, the creation for the project on cello and you also know how to create some the list the card for 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 planning and then you assign the team member to the project to assign the work for them to work on or something like that okay I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye. See you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you think this is useful, please like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay. Bye bye. See you later.